And then we're gonna make a mix so wet, you've never seen a mix so wet. Okay, not that wet. Yeah, we had a little misjudgment there. Just a minute. Very well. Let's see if we can get the finishing layer on just as uh, straight. It doesn't need to be pretty as long as it's straight and it mostly is uh, only here we have like a small uh, hole we need to fill that up a little and we had one somewhere here for the rest it looks mighty fine to me uh, it doesn't need to be pretty because we're gonna tile over this Small dents are also not a problem, as long as the, not the whole wall dents in somewhere, like here. I'm only used to tiling on uh, straight walls, so let's try and get it as straight as possible. Uh, another thing is a uh, nice lighting, <laughs> is the corners, and because they need to be also uh, straight. And if you look at this one, it still goes in a little bit. That's mostly the most difficult part for me at the moment. <laughs> to get all these corners like straight enough that the tiles will also like end up straight. This corner is fine. Uh, two more to go. Uh, this we don't have to do because here's gonna come the hanging toilet, like the whole frame for the thing. So we're not gonna render that off, would be a little bit useless. So after we put the, the frame, it's gonna probably have some uh, wood and then we're gonna tile over that. We'll see about that when we get there. Uh, two more walls. Then I can put the ceiling in and then finish off this part here everywhere around the ceiling. First on food.
cloudy and rainy days. Ooh, I also made this. Okay, let's do a wall together then. First we're gonna see how straight the wall actually is. In Portugal, you shouldn't have high hopes. But in this case, in this case, it's only a little bit off on the top here. That was also the case on the other side. So we have to flick some more cement here in the top, and then in the bottom. Although in the bottom, we need to fill some up here. Oh, and coming to think of it, we need to fill some more up here because we basically want the corner to go from here and then sure I hate like that. So actually I need to fill up a whole lot here. So basically how we do that is um, I start here and I flick as much in, but because it's so wet, it's only gonna be a small layer. And then every time I come back to this, if it's a little bit drier, to flick on another layer and 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 another layer. And, another layer and, another <laughs> and meanwhile, I'll uh, fill up the rest this only needs uh, this only needs to be covered and then in the top we need uh, a couple of more layers I'm doing this wall first and not the um, the back one there because on this side it's on this side it's still uh, wet and i think it's better to like do this wall first and then uh, after when it's both dry then uh, fill up that part and then we still have a little part to do here Then we're gonna make a mix so wet, you've never seen a mix so wet. Okay, not that wet. Yeah, we had a little misjudgment there. Just a minute. Okay. 
basically so wet that it drips from your board on all sides. <laughs> it's like you're scooping the cement out of the water. Get ready for splatter. <laughs> Basically, as I understood from the Portuguese, you don't have to wet the wall for this, because this is so wet. <coughs> After the first layer, it uh, only starts sticking better. I like this part more than uh, finishing off. Although I already feel my face is getting covered in cement. <laughs> For the bottom here, the flicking on is a little bit difficult. Because I normally like flick like this and then <coughs> my uh, trowel is reaching the floor. So what I uh, tend to do is just uh, shove it on the wall. Call it quits for today. So much I need to fill up here. If I put any more on now, then it's gonna come tumbling down. Also need some more in the top still. Yeah, 
least the base layer is on now. Basically uh, all around the edge, it needs still a couple of more layers. Tomorrow, that is. You guys are still here. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Grabbing full into the wall. <laughs> oh, bucket of water. What's with the chimney? That's what's up with the chimney. Yeah. <laughs> I'm burning so much non-clean wood. <laughs> Old garbage wood from the old roof. A little bit clogged up. I bought this uh, chimney wiper thingy. See if that's gonna work. My chimney is not strong enough at least to <laughs> Bought the wrong thing again. Touristic chimney setup also. So. Fits the purpose. The theory is if I would have fixed it to the wall, the cement wouldn't have cracked so fast. And it wouldn't be leaking inside. That seems to be working better. Let's see.
take a lot more cement than I expected. <laughs> Trying to get this uh, straight here. I had the cement a little bit thicker when I filled up the big parts here. That worked fine. Now I got it a little bit thinner again, but should have maybe kept it still thicker. Basically just scrape so much in one place until it starts dripping down. <coughs> to finish this wall today.
Almost there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, so that leaves a lot of cement. I'm gonna need to uh, let it dry now again. So otherwise it's gonna come, uh, gonna come down. Uh, we need a little more layer here on the top. And uh, this whole part in general needs like a little extra layer. And then we still need to finish it off. So I'm not gonna bother you with that uh, anymore. I'll uh, finish this all up and then uh, in the next episode we'll start with uh, the ceiling. See you all there. Bye. Thank you.